assuming that something is going to be bipedal, like an intelligent alien species, right? A lot of Star Trek, a lot of these other science fictions that we see, things are bipedal. And like bipedalism, evolutionarily speaking, is actually not that common in animals on Earth, right? Uh, like It's pretty rare. It's like us, kangaroos. And I don't even know, Do are kangaroos considered bipedal? I don't know. I mean, kind of. They, they yeah. like wind over. They also hop. But yeah, the... That's I'll, I'll oftentimes hear people invoke this idea of convergence, which in evolution, it's where animals evolve the same traits independently. So a good way to, you know, the, the go to example of this for me is flying. Mm-hmm. There's many different insects that independently evolve to fly. Birds evolve to fly, which are dinosaurs. Right. Um, there are mammals that fly like bats. And so flight is something that is considered to be convergent. It's so helpful that it's something that I would say you could assume on another planet, if the conditions are right, probably there are animals that can fly. Like it's something that's that beneficial. Right. Exactly. Well, like, what does that even mean? You know, I feel like when you, when we say avian, you're already talking about something that is so far down the evolutionary tree of Earth-like biology and circumstances and specific things that happen to the Earth, specific ice ages, specific asteroid impacts, whatever DNA base that we started with. Right. The question, I guess, is what selective pressures would exist on these planets that right. might produce that as an evolutionary outcome? Right. Uh, another, uh, another version of convergence that I think is fascinating is the carcinization Right, like the crab-like nature. Uh, it's like, cr- like independently, the crab-like body morphology has evolved in multiple different iterations. Of I think four or five different times. Four that or we five know of. times is crazy. Yeah. And so, I think you can make a really strong convergent argument just based on what we know about biology, which again is biased towards Earth biology. But I would believe you if you said. Well, convergence should tell us that there's probably crab-like animals somewhere. I would agree with that. But I do have a problem accepting the uh, invocation of convergence for um, intelligent beings that, like, walk on two legs. Like, I get that that's us. But on Earth, we don't have another example of that really happening. So I don't feel like convergence is appropriate there. I mean, it could it could happen, but I just don't feel like that is a very robust argument starting from what we know about Earth life.